Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast that problem reads if the car decelerates uniformly along the curved uh, road from 25 meters per second at A to 15 meters per second at C, determine the acceleration of the car at B. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics uh, 14th edition by RSC. So we have a car that is deceleratating from A to C, okay, and the deceleration is uniform, okay. So this is a cut weight, uniform deceleration. It means acceleration, it means acceleration is constant, okay, or deceleration is this deceleration is constant okay so what does this mind you of every time you see this uniformly there is some constant there okay so here we can apply the what those equations of motions when acceleration is what constant great what equations are those let's write them down so we have uh, S, okay, this is the final, uh, equals to initial uh, plus um, VO times uh, VO times time plus half times a t squared remember this one then we have another one which is um, final velocity is equal to initial plus uh, acceleration times time okay and then we have this derived one from s v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a okay final minus remember these equations right of course okay so there we are because we've been told that uh, we have uniform acceleration or deceleration then we can employ these equations so of the three which one can we use let's look at what we have so we have a car from a to b to c okay of course it passes through b so a to b to c and the information that we are starting with is a to c and the acceleration is constant okay that's this uniformly uh, this is uh, uniform mode deceleration right so acceleration is constant so we do have this distance all right what else uh, we have uh, initial velocity and final velocity so we can use this equation here we have everything here okay we can use everything here so let's write down what we have so we are saying we are starting from a so start point start point is a okay start point is a so at this particular point at this point we have our initial velocity we are calling to call v o is equal to um is equal to 25 meters per second we have our v final which is equal to 15 meters per second we have our final initial distance okay we have initial distance which is equal to uh 
our initial distance is equal to 250 and our final is equal to I mean sorry this one is equal to 0 right we are starting from A as 0 meters and then our final is equal to 250 plus 50 which is 300 right okay what else that's all so we can plug in everything in there and make a subject of the formula so we'll have something like this uh we'll have 15 squared is equal to uh, 25 squared plus 2a 2a by 300 minus 0 and making a subject to the formula uh, let's work it out so 15 squared minus 25 squared okay uh, divided by a 2 by 300 what we have is a negative point six seven maybe let me put more decimal places i'll say six 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 seven meters per second square okay so this is our uniform acceleration from a to c okay meters per second this is from this is from a to c okay we just work it out again 15 squared minus 25 squared divided by 2 by 300 all right so once we have the uniform acceleration or constant acceleration we can now again apply the same equation okay this time around we want velocity at b okay one velocity at b so uh we are now dealing with b so here this is this is from a to b so now at b at a okay at a what do we have we have uh v naught equal to 25 so this one is at a at a so we have v naught equal to 25 meters per second what else do we have here we have s naught equal to 0 meters okay what else that's all then at of course acceleration we have is for all of them at b we have um v final equal to i mean s s final equal to 250 meters what else um that's all right of course we are looking for v final this is what we are looking for okay but we know that acceleration here is constant and is equal to 0 0.6667 meters per second square right so let's plug back let's plug uh, let's plug these inputs into the same equation this one down here okay the one we are using right so there we go so our our v final is what we are looking for okay v node we say this 25 okay plus 2 times a and a is minus 0 0.6667 okay and then there we have 
are 250 minus 0 okay so plugged everything that we have we just need to solve okay so let's solve for rv okay so v will just be a square root of everything you can just copy this you can copy this uh copy paste i bring it here right of course you'll have a positive or minus but of course we're just looking for a positive value so let's get our value there so our v therefore our v therefore is just going to be equal to our v therefore will be equal to 25 squared plus um okay let me multiply 2 by 0 0.6667 okay by 250 all right then plus 25 squared and square root of that so we have v is equal to 17 point 17 point uh, 0 0.8 meters per second this is v at b can even say like so okay this is v at b okay right so once we have this v then now uh, we know that our acceleration expressing it as a vector is just going to be equal to a component in the, tang the tangential direction times the unit vector plus uh, this uh, normal acceleration which is also called centropito centropito center seeking times the unit vector un okay and then this 80 since our acceleration is uniform our acceleration is uniform it is just going to be the same value it is going to be the same value point uh six right it's a negative right point six 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 seven meters per second squared and then our a n is just equal to uh v squared divided by rho where rho is equal to the radius of the curvature okay rho b okay which is equal to 300 meters therefore our a n is just going to be equal to our v which is a 17.08 squared divided by 300 okay. therefore using pythagoras theorem okay I will plug in a t there squared plus a n squared and we have these values here and we also we have this other value there okay so let's plug them in so that we find our a all right so I will say 17.08 squared divided by 300 and squared plus 0.66 six seven squared okay and square root of that find that our a is just going to be equal to one point one eight meters per second squared let me work it out again seventeen point zero eight squared divided by three hundred okay then that squared again plus 0 0.66 0 0.6667 squared square root of that we get a 1.18 all right so there we go 
let's outline this solution so we found the magnitude of our acceleration at this point uh, so the vehicle is decelerating right it's decelerating and uh, uh, of course it's reducing this acceleration is reducing from point A to point uh, B okay right so I hope this particular video is helpful I hope this particular video is helpful and uh, if it was uh, give me a thumbs up uh, like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel let me just draw these particular values here at B so let's say we are going to have central pitot value like so uh, self uh, I mean center seeking and then let's say we have one which is uh, 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 tangential to the curve and then we have the resultant our resultant let's say our resultant is somewhere there like so okay so let's call this a let's call this a t then we call this a n all right I think this is about it and I hope it was helpful. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.